Hey, what's cracking everybody? Today we're going to take a look at Archcraft, an arch based system. And right here from their website, it says on uh, April 2024, ISO of Archcraft is now available to download. Read the change logs below to know what's new. And on the change logs, it says updated ISO profile, latest base with new packages, updated all Archcraft and AUR packages, update all window managers config, added latest version of Calamari's installer and its config, fixed auto login issue, added a new grub package, fixed issue with the installation on XFS file system, added grub hooks package to install grub on every update, added Archcraft a render package to manage screen layouts, fixed QT theming issue, added configs for QT6, improved Thunar actions functionalities, open terminal according to session, open as root according to session, permanently sets the wallpaper and supported sessions, and small improvements and bug fixed. And you got some other info right here, but uh, I got it up in a virtual machine right now, so let's head on over there and uh, install Archcraft and take a look. It uses the Calamari's installer, so I'll skip through the install for you guys and just get straight into the system. Okay, and here we are on the desktop now. And uh, Archcraft is installed, and we are welcomed by a uh, hello screen. And it says visit Archcraft Wiki for everything you need to know to operate Archcraft like a hero. So you got Archcraft Wiki, Archcraft Tutorial, and Archcraft Gallery. So let's look at the Archcraft Wiki first and see what it has to offer. Welcome to the Archcraft Wiki, your source for Archcraft documentation on the web. So this is all the documentation for uh, Archcraft. All right, and then you got the Archcraft Tutorial and it's also part of the arch wiki tells you how to change things all right and then you got the archcraft gallery and basically you get all your photos and things like that so all right looks like a cool uh, riced up uh system but uh, i'm noticing that my uh resolution is not correct so let me open up a terminal and fix that real quick so do an xr and R dash S 1920 by 1080. And there we go. But we also got some errors with the, the wallpaper and probably the panel, it looks like. So uh, I might have to go into the uh, config folder, set it up manually, and reboot the system. So let me try that now. Let me find a File manager, there you go, Dunar. You do a control H, go to config, open box, and is there, a, yeah, there is an auto start. And I'll open it with Genie. Uh, I'm just gonna put it at the bottom. Now, what is it using for wallpaper? Nitrogen restore. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make that sleep. Sleep for five seconds and then restore the wallpaper. That way it'll be fixed. All right. Now I'll just go ahead and save this. Now reboot the system. Okay, I'll just type reboot into Rofi. Okay, I rebooted the system. Wallpaper's fixed, panel's fixed, everything's fixed. So I'm wondering if that welcome screen is gonna open back up or not. If not, oh well, we'll just go through the system. So this is uh, the open box desktop environment. We have our panel on the top and there's quite a few things on the panel. So starting on the upper right, we have, uh, it just says computer. We have a power session. And NA, I'm pretty sure it's for, looks like a battery icon. So if I was on a laptop, it would probably uh, read out some uh, 
information. Then you got some uh, system resources. Got a, something right here that says NA and then 40% looks like that's your volume. So yeah, just using the scroll wheel on the mouse, turns it up and turns it down. Then you got something right here that says grateful. I guess it's the uh, audio. Yeah. So comes with music and everything. Then you got your clock. And then if you click on it, it expands it and it gives you the full day, date and everything. All right, and this is your hard drive. And then I'm um, assuming this is gonna be your memory. And then this right here, I'm not sure what this is at all. And I'm gonna assume that these are your desktops. Desktops, workspaces. And this is, gets you your Rofi menu. All right, and on Rofi, you can see right here, it's everything that's uh, pretty much uh, installed on your system. So you just scroll through it. It's kind of weird because I'm scrolling, but it's just like bouncing back and forth. All right, let me try opening it up again. All right, I'll just grab it from here. I guess because of the theme that it's using, it's kind of weirded out. All right, that's pretty much all your settings that are on here, but let's take a look at Archcraft Help. And that is the page that we were looking at at first. All right, so we already saw that. Let's go back to the Rofi and about Archcraft. And Archcraft version 2024.04. Yet another minimal Linux distribution based on Arch Linux. And we'll go back. That's ARNR to set up your screen resolution. Alacrity, which is your terminal. Let's open that up. Click it full screen. Let's see if we got HTOP installed. And we do. You can see right here, we're running uh, 494 megabytes on our memory. And our load average is 0 0.14, 0 0.13, and 0 0.6. And do we have NeoFetch installed? We do. And let me see if I can make it bigger. It's not working. There you go. All right. Hopefully you can see that better now. And it is Archcraft. The kernel 6.8.2. And you got your screen resolution, your window manager, your themes, your GPU, CPU info, all of that's on here. All right. Uh, let me click this plus sign and see what it tells me. It doesn't tell me nothing, so I'll just go ahead and close the window. All right. Let's get back to here. Let's see. We got Firefox as our web browser. And is it going to be 124? Yes, it is, 124.0.2. All right, then we got Thunar, our file manager. We saw that earlier. Right now it's showing all the hidden files, but it kicked Control H and it'll hide them again. And on the about, it is 4.18.10. All right, and and then we got Genie. So pretty much everything right here is, looks like it's what's right here. You got Genie, you got Thunar, you got Firefox, Alacrity. So basically everything that's lined up right here is right here, along with the XFCE terminal. So Genie is going to be a text editor, and it's just opening up the uh, auto start file that I looked at earlier. Because when you open up Genie, it'll open up the last file you looked at. Uh, but you can see on Genie, we could do an about, and it is Genie 2.0. Alright, get back to the button. Let's see, we got HTOP, which we already saw. We got Vim, Ranger, Vimeo, Managed Monitors, Power Management, Nitrogen, quite a few things. Python, Plank, Gparted. Alright. All right, so it's a basic uh, arch system. Uh, yeah. What is this right here? Settings manager. Let's open that up and look at the settings. And it looks like the settings for uh, XFCE, but I could be wrong. Let me click on display. Yeah, it looks like it's the settings from XFCE. All right, but it is the open box. The oh, open box. The open box window manager. Uh, let's see. You got appearance, so you could change the style. 
get some theming going on. And it has quite a few things. Let's see in the icons. I should probably open up a file manager so we can see the changes. Let's open up Dunar. Make it smaller. All right. Let's see, click on New Mix, Papyrus, Kogar. And there is quite a few uh, themes on here, so they go on for a while. All right, I'll leave it on that. Then you could also change fonts and settings. All right, and then they also have the uh, window manager if it's, well, it is the XFCE settings, but uh, I don't think they have the control for the window manager because it is open box. And to control the uh, window manager for an open box, you would open up, uh, I think it's OBConf. So let me open up a terminal and see if I can open up OBConf. OBConf. And there it is. Uh, right now, the window manager is using the uh, Arc Dark. But you can change it to Arc Easy, Arc Light, some old school Catpuchin Frap, Cappuccini Frap, Macchiato. There's quite a few of them. Uh, Dracula. I'll just leave it on Dracula or maybe yet Everforce. All right. So, yeah, so basic uh, open box settings. So, uh, I'm wondering, is this the tint tool panel or is it something else? Let's find out. Let's do a tint tool conf. And no, I don't think this is the tint tool panel or is it? Let me see if I go to edit. All right. So the panel, let me see. You guys see right here, it shows that the tin two panel. Maybe down here, this is the tin two panel, but no, I think this is uh, some type of dock also. All right, so I'm not exactly sure what panel it is using, but I guess I could do a X prop to kind of figure that out. Let's see if he has X prop installed. He does. Click on it, and what is this? Uh, let me get the name. Polybar. There you go. All right. So using Polybar as his uh, panel. Okay. So instead of 10 tool, they're using Polybar. All right. That's good info. Click on that. Make that go away. All right. So yeah, this is Archcraft. It's a minimal uh, riced up uh, Arch based system. Uh, looks pretty good. Everything looks colorful and nice. So uh, yeah, I like it. I uh, like it a lot. All right, you guys. This is just a quick look at uh, Archcraft since they just did a uh, an April uh, update. So, uh, and if it's something you guys are interested in, then hey, grab it and have fun with it. But that's gonna do it for me, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.